Hey everyone, Matt here. So this is part three to our Lanes Hive build. And in this video, we're doing a bunch of things. One, we're gonna build a, a Lanes frame jig to help us during assembly. Two, we're gonna make a bunch of the actual frame pieces with scrap wood that I have in the garage here. Uh, three, we're gonna assemble the frames and four, we're gonna wire them up. So for all dimensions of uh, the frame jig or the frame pieces, you can find those on horizontalhives.com. And I'll put a, a link in the show notes to that website. Now, I don't have an affiliation with Dr. Leo, but he definitely deserves a shout out for all that free information that he puts out on his website. It's a really great resource if you're going to look into Lance Hives. So we got a lot to do today, so let's get to it. So let's take a closer look at me using this frame jig that I got off horizontalhives.com. It works really slick actually. So just make sure that from the, the drill holes that the burrs are all not on here. So it sits flush on the bottom here. I use a little, just a, a dabble of Gorilla Glue and then some one inch narrow crown staples. Uh, it does work really good. And then when I get these, I try and make them so they, they bow towards each other. 
because um, I am using a lot of recycled wood from old projects or stuff that I found, so a lot of it's warped and whatever. And then the top bars, I did them a little bit differently because I don't put foundation in. I just put a, a, a guide, a comb guide in the top. And it works pretty good because once they attach the comb, it's on, you know, one, two, three, four. It's on like five sides and it's pretty stiff. But I'm thinking that I've never wired frames before, but I'm going to wire these ones because they're so long. But so what I did was I cut a groove in the top bar and then put just a little piece of scrap wood in there. And then before I did that, I marked the holes in the center. And then once it was in there and I glued it in, then I drilled from the bottom so that the uh, fishing wire will come out there. But it worked pretty good. So I'll just put a dab on this one. Some leaves. Yes. Line it all up. So let's take a closer look at how I'm wiring these frames. And I've never wired frames before this project. I run all mediums, so I didn't see a need for it. Um, although this year I had a bunch um, of partial filled out uh, frames blow out, so I, I might start doing that. But, you know, four months ago when I built that first lay-ins frame, I had some metal wire and I tried wiring it up with the uh, with metal wire and uh, it kind of warped it and I couldn't get the tension proper and so I went onto YouTube and was looking to see how people do it and came across a video of people using fishing line which I didn't even know was a thing so uh, I had some fishing line in my tackle box so I tried to use that and it works pretty slick so uh, here I'll just show you how it kind of do her I kind of just got the uh, the reel on a, a screw, which is just being held onto my workbench there. But and then when I was, you know, I drilled these holes using a jig, so they're all in the center. So I've also seen people using like nails or there's some people that just some people that just uh, tied the fishing line without using anything. But my I find it hard to 
hold onto the fishing line. So what I do is I put a staple in just to hold it and then I know it's going to slip through there probably so I wrap it around this end bar here so I don't have to hold onto it so tight. And then, and then when we go to tension Just kind of get it pretty good. And then I just kind of got another block there, which I don't think you can see that kind of rests that side of the frame against. And then I staple this one, put some tension on it, and then I can grab it with my other hand here at that. And then I find it easier if I sit down to tie it, and then those staples kind of. Hold the tension while I'm tying. And then I tie like two granny knots and then kind of that fishing knot. But you know what they say about people who don't know how to tie knots, tie lots. So that's what I do. So maybe, I don't know. We'll see next season if these frames and the way tied it held up but I think that's pretty tight it's only got like four more frames to do here but uh, you know if you enjoy this content you can thumbs up subscribe if you haven't um, if you haven't seen part one and part two of the Lane's build go back and check those out and there's going to be a fourth part where I put the bees in, into the hive. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.